Here we are at day two of the Daiwa Brim Australian Open and we've moved to the Hawkesbury based out of Bayview Park. And it's looking a lot like 2018 with Mark Crompton taking the lead. His bag today, 5.33 kilos. Check out this bit of awesome angling. Number one, number one. And if you thought that was a great reaction, check out this fish. It's over a kilo and a half and well, Chromo gets rather excited. Sitting tight in second place is Jamie McEwen. He started his day fishing topwater waiting for that tide to start running out. Once it did, he hit the crabs and he upgraded his whole bag. Dan Bonacorso fishes in one of the smaller tinnies in the field, but that doesn't limit his ability to catch big limits. He found a great spot wide of the pitwater flats and he milked it with a near five kilo bag. Morgan decided to go old school today. He threw cranks at bridge pylons and took a live stream audience along for the ride. It feels better. Bit of a head shake on that one. Get out of that ledge. It's definitely bigger than the last one. Low 30s, it looks like. Come on, mate. We'll still take five of these boys today. <laughs> the account is open for the big boys. The condition on this fish is double the condition of the fish yesterday. 
Hold it tight. I'm in the Australian Open. Just trying to get those little ones in. That's a bigger one. Get out of there. <laughs> He's still looking to count, I don't think. <laughs> Although Mark Healy's brought in two great bags of fish, he'd probably think his Australian Open is a little subpar. Check out this fish he caught from a wash. Everyone knows Grant Keim is as Australian as a slab of VB. Grant's sitting in ninth at the moment with his sights set Better. firmly on a top 10 finish this week. If you asked Dennis Metzdorf how he thought his day two went, he'd probably say subpar, even though he weighed over three kilos of brim. He headed way up the Hawkesbury to do it, and I think he did pretty well for a Queenslander. Dennis loves playing music on his boat, and that's why we've had to mute his audio. Watch out, Dennis. You're going to end up with a Chris Hickson-style voiceover in no time. Chris Hickson played host again to the crew from Dyla who've been doing some great coverage of the event on the water this week. We look forward to seeing their Dyla angler coverage coming out soon. Another day in the office and in you go. Trouble is I really don't know what camera to look at. Is it this one? Uh, there's my... No, this one. Uh, another skill I've learned over the years is to uh, get my snags off and turn them into fish, like this one here. Check me out. Over the head with the reverse double mercury, and then straight into the channel. In you go, buddy. I am going to catch so many fish today, it's going to be sick. And now I've got my shit together, show that camera, come to the back, show the other camera, boom. Anybody remember the Gippsland highlights? Wally Fay getting done by a great brim in structure. Well, he brought that form to the Hawkesbury. It's just like throwing $20 notes in the water, isn't it, Wall? Frank started the Open in the top 10, but a poor second day dropped him to 23rd. He did console himself though with this big kingy. Took him a while to catch, so we fast forwarded the highlights for you. And that's it, day two in the books for the Daiwa Brim Australian Open. We are back in Sydney tomorrow for an exciting final day. Follow all the live coverage, www.abt.org.au.